All right, guys, welcome back. And today I've got a requested video. Uh, I did a video the other day where I was using my QR code that I built for my shop. And a lot of folks are asking, how did you get that QR code with your logo in the middle of it? Where did you make that? And of course, my answer, short answer was Lightburn because that is where I made it. Uh, but I felt like there needed to be more. So today is going to be a little short, quick, instructional on how to go about creating a QR code that has your logo in the center of it, like a lot of you have seen me use before. So for that, we're going to use our computer. There's a couple of applications you're going to need for this, which is going to be Google Chrome as well as Lightburn. And that's it. That's all you got to have. No paid subscriptions, no risk of giving anybody like a virus from using some free QR generator or anything like that. This is simple, bare bones, but it works great. So let's jump down into the computer and get started on this little project. You may be able to use other browsers to do this. Uh, you can check and see if it has the capability. This is the one I use, and I haven't had any problems with this. So this is the process we're going to show. So go to your Chrome browser here. Whatever your website is that you want to use for your QR code, you're going to want to go to that website by typing it in up here, using a shortcut, however. But what you want to do is make sure the address that you want in your QR code is displayed up here in the URL box. Once you've done that, all you gotta do is go over here to these little three dots on Chrome, select that, and you're gonna go down here to where it says cast, save, and share. That's just the little button that you wanna click right there. And it's gonna take you down here to create QR code. And so you click create QR code. Now, it's going to create this QR code with this little dinosaur in the middle right here. And then just hit download. Now I've already downloaded it, of course. Uh, so then you're going to close that. Going to go over here to Lightburn. This is the final part of this process. So I just want to show you guys too. Once you get this made, we're going to put this in an art library over here uh, with some of my other brand parts that I have, my logos and signs and stuff like that. Uh, but but yeah, that's something I would advise for you to do if you're if you're getting into this and you want to make this thing. So first thing is we're going to import the QR code that we had and bring it to the light burn. I'm going to resize it just because I'm going to resize it a bit here, and we're going to take this QR code and just like it is, nothing else to it. Right click and trace, and you'll notice that it traces fairly well. So all you got to do here is just hit the delete after trace button. Make sure it's green. Hit OK. All right. So now you've changed that PNG or image into a shape or vector that you can use to design from. Uh, but all of this is grouped together. So we're going to need to right click ungroup. And now we got to get rid of this dinosaur because we don't want the dinosaur. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start right here in the bottom right. And I'm going to click and move up into the left, touching all the parts of that dinosaur and then just hit delete. That gets rid of the dinosaur. So now I'm just gonna go back in here and group all of this back together. Now, we're gonna give it just a second and I'm gonna take my phone out because you know it's not a bad idea when you're working on something like this just to make sure you don't mess it up along the way. So if you take your phone out and look at that image with your phone camera, you'll notice that it's showing that the QR code is working and it will send you to the clackshack.com. And that's what we want. So basically what we've just learned is that the only part of this QR code that you need to be able to navigate using the QR code is this part. So now that we know that, we can take this part and we can bring our brand assets over here, such as our logo, and we can incorporate it into this file as also. Because now that everything is a vector, it's easy to operate with. So we're gonna click on the logo first. I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna click on the QR code and we'll hit the little bullseye button and it's gonna position the logo in the center. Now, you can make this bigger, uh, but I will caution you, do not let it interfere with any of the little dots. Like see how that is interfering with that dot? Don't do that. Uh, because each one of those little dots is part of this code that needs to be recognized by the phone. So I'm gonna make it just big enough 
that it doesn't interfere with those dots. And so we're going to get off of it. I'm going to click off of it. And if you want to follow along, feel free. But I'm going to take my phone and I am going to scan this thing and make sure that the QR code still works. And it does. So that's it, guys. All we got to do now is just to make sure it doesn't get messed up, I'm going to select everything, right click, group, and now it's grouped. So there you go. That's how I do mine, and uh, it works. Uh, I enjoy having access to all of these little QR codes. Like I said, I use the QR codes and the logos for branding uh, things that I make and just, you know, testing machines. So there's lots of different things that you can use these for. And so let's get back out of the software now. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the way that I do it. Like I said, there's other ways. There are QR code generators out there. Uh, you may can generate one with other browsers. I use Chrome, so I really don't have any experience with the other browsers. And folks were asking me how I did mine, how I did this one. And this is a way that I've used. I've used it a lot over the past three or four years. It works, and uh, it's just fun. And like I said, it creates a very unique uh, QR code that a lot of folks will be like, well, that's just too custom to be just generic. But it's just generic with a little bit of editing in Lightburn. So there you go. I hope the video was helpful to you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up uh, if you learned anything especially. Uh, give me the thumbs up, like, follow, subscribe, share, all those good things uh, because in 13 days, guys, uh, this will be my only job. So there you go. But I'm going to get back to work testing the new spindle on the Fox Alien over there uh, and let you guys get back to doing whatever you're doing in your shop as well. So until uh, next time, be safe. Have a good day.